I'm about to date myself here. So uh, pretty much the same. Grew up in a family who we really didn't pay attention to politics like at all. I mean, my dad was like a drummer in a rock band and my mom, after they were divorced, you know, she was the biker chick. So, I mean, there was like a lot of partying going on and just, you know, that area of the, the world just was not even on the radar um, until I was graduating high school and realized, look, I mean, I, I don't have money to go to college. I have no idea what in the hell am I gonna do? I'll join the military. You know, and then being a woman who I went into the Marine Corps right out of high school, that was my first really just dipping my big toe into that pond because I went into public affairs and I wound up at Quantico. And that was really, uh, I mean, just kind of went into hyperdrive, lessons learned, uh, the politics of what's going on and being so close to Washington, D.C. And we had the tailhook trials going on at the same time. And we had the Lone Tree trial with, you know, he was the first Marine to be accused of espionage. We had women who were being integrated into training, you know, at the basic school in the Marine Corps. I mean, it was just boom, boom, boom. And it just opened up this world. I just found it so fascinating. And at the time, being a journalist, you know, I was really in this position where I could just kind of go and just ask questions and learn about everything that was happening. And so I, I found that I became more of a student because I was a journalist in the Marine Corps and I really just enjoyed the conversations and the learning and getting the different perspectives. And so now fast forward, you know, I never in a million years would have thought I would have ended up being a media analyst where I'm, I'm reading the news and working with other analysts from across the political spectrum. And it's just it's amazing how you can kind of get sucked into it. <laughs>